Hello everyone, this video follows a very different structure to what you used to from my videos, but I wanted to make this video nonetheless. While working on a new video for the Flowwise series, I noticed that the latest version of Flowwise introduces the concept of credentials. So I wanted to create this quick video to show you how you can use credentials in your Flowwise applications. When starting up Flowwise, you will now notice this new tab called Credentials. And when we click on Credentials, initially you won't see anything on the screen. What is very cool about Credentials is you can store your credentials once and then reuse them throughout your Flowwise applications. If you've been following along with my Flowwise videos, you would have noticed that we keep copying and pasting the OpenAI APIs all the time. Now, with the Credentials feature, we can capture that key once and then reuse it throughout our Flowwise applications. To store an API key, simply click on Add Credential, then scroll down to the API key that you'd like to store. As an example, the OpenAI API key. We can give our credential a name, like OpenAI API key, and we can then paste our OpenAI key in this field. So on OpenAI, I'll generate a new key. I'll just call it my Flowwise key. I'll then copy this key value. And in Flowwise, I'll just add it to this field and then I'll click add. We have now added the OpenAI API key to this credential store. Now, if we create a new chat flow, so I'll just go to chat flows and I'll click on add new. I'll just give this flow a name. I'll just call it demo flow. And to demo this, I'll just create a very simple agent. So I'll go to agents, I'll grab the conversational agent and I'll add it to the canvas. First, I'll add the memory node. So I'll just go to nodes, memory, and I'll grab the buffer memory node and I'll attach that to the agent. Let's add our LLM. So I'll go to nodes, chat models, and I'll grab the chat OpenAI node and add that to the canvas. And let's connect our model to the agent. Now, typically, we would have to paste in our OpenAI API key. But as you can see, the field for the OpenAI API key is no longer available. Instead, we have this field called Connect Credential. We can now click on this drop down in this field, and we will now see the list of credentials which we created in the credential store. And in this case, we only have one, and that is the OpenAI API key. And for this bot, I'll give it internet access. So under nodes, let's go to tools and under tools, let's grab the SERP API node and let's connect this to our allowed tools list. And usually the SERP API node takes in the SERP API key as input. But this time we need to select the credentials from the list. And at the moment, we don't have any matching keys in the credential store for SERP. So we can now create this key in one of two ways. We can create it from the node itself by clicking on create new and that will bring up this pop-up here where we can enter the name of the key and then enter the SERP API key. Optionally, I'll just save this flow. We can go back to the dashboard and under credentials, we can click on add credential. We can then look up the SERP credentials. We can then select the SERP API and we can then enter the SERP API key over here. So I'll just switch over to SERP API. I'll copy my key and I'll paste it in this credentials pop-up and click on add. We have now stored the credentials for both OpenAI and SERP. Let's go back to our flow. And now for the SERP API node, we can simply click on this drop down and then select the SERP API credentials. Let's save this and test it out. In the chat, let's ask, who is the current president of the US? And we do get a response back proving that our credentials are working. Thanks guys, I know this video was very different to my usual structure, but hopefully this helped anyone who got confused by this new connect credentials field. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.